uh, Courthouse and Property Committee to order. Um, we're going to start off with our roll call, and uh, everybody's here. And I'm going to ask uh, for Commissioner Davis if he'd pray for us. Heavenly Father, I want to thank you, Lord, for this gathering of leaders in this community. Father, I want to thank you for this community. Lord, we want to pray right now for this country as we're going through the issues we're going through. Lord, lay your hands directly upon us, Lord, and heal us and guide us and direct us in your wonderful, beautiful name. Amen. Amen. All right, our first thing on the agenda is minutes approval from June 18th. Uh, a chance to take a look at those, and I'll be looking for a motion to approve. Move to approve. Second. All right, got a motion and a second. Uh, any comments? All right, all in favor? Aye. Aye. All righty, public comments, anybody? I didn't see anything outside, so if not seeing any, we'll keep moving on. All right, our first uh, business is reports, and uh, we got codes department report. Codes here. All right, you have that report in your uh, packet, and I always uh, like to say thank you for her reports because I learned so much because they're so detailed. And um, Any questions about that, guys? All right, moving on to planning and zoning. <coughs> I do not see a report in here for them. Suzanne, do you know if we have a report for them? Okay. If you wouldn't mind, send a request to Chris for, to send that over, and that way we can kind of see what's going on over there. All right. Next is IT report. Okay. So you'll have a copy of the report in your email as well, but should have a copy in front of you as well. Um, what, I, what I did this month is... Uh, we're still, we still have a lot of ongoing projects. What I'm doing here uh, with this report is I'm updating uh, you guys on what the status is and on some of these projects. Uh, everything from security and electronics for the jail all the way up to camera systems for the courthouse, the courthouse lighting projects, uh, and, and the status of even the, the uh, juvenile detention center uh, discussions that we're having with the contractors there as well. So we're, we're steadily involved with all of these projects, keeping a, a finger on the pulse of them, making sure that they're moving forward as planned. Um, in, in most cases, we are working with vendors, uh, with uh, vendors that specialize in these types of things. And so there are a lot of projects ongoing throughout the state. And uh, even the school system uses one of our vendors, the local school system as well, for cameras and access controls and uh, some of these projects are scheduled out on into the fall. So just uh, just an update there on these. I will add that uh, we do have the uh, one of the engineers is coming out tomorrow uh, evening at, at uh, just after sunset, and he's going to do a mock-up of the exterior lighting uh, devices that will be used on the exterior of the courthouse tomorrow around dark. So if you look up here and you see some lights that you haven't seen, uh, that's what you'll be seeing. Uh, we're meeting with them tomorrow evening. They'll be setting up just before dark, and maybe we'll get an idea of what uh, some of the uplighting will look like on the on the structure. So that'll be happening tomorrow evening as well. Now, is that primarily what we're doing? Is uplighting on the building, or are we looking at you know lighting up some of the the grounds? Or yeah, so so it's going to be uplighting on the building, uh, but. Essentially, what we're having to do here is update the electrical here in this building. It couldn't handle something like that. A lot of the elect electrical work here in this building is older. And so in order to facilitate something like that, uh, you're going to have to update the electrical in at some point anyway in this building. Makes sense here. That's where a lot of your expense on this project came from. I know you saw some numbers, and you were like, whoa, what's for some lights? No, that's for the electrical work, the construction that goes alongside that. To update the electrical here to support something like that, uh, and other things in the future. So you'll see, uh, you'll see the lighting is is uh, similar to uh, some of the some of the colleges out in Nashville, like Belmont College, is kind of what we were, we're going for on this. That's what the engineer recommended. Uh, there are pictures out there online. You can see the nighttime views of, of that college. Uh, that's kind of what 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 the, uh, the exterior would look like. Uh, from that standpoint. So there will be lights uh, mounted around the building, the structure itself, not just on this building, but also on the annex, the courthouse annex as well, to match. 
and those would be uh, the specifications would so that they would be able to change colors too during the holidays. So uh, I think that, that they'll be pretty impressive. The engineer we 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 look for has projects that that are in Nashville area and other large cities and, and uh, has worked with many municipal uh, organizations before for this type of thing. So we've got a guy that knows what he's doing. So. Anybody else have any comments or questions? All right, thank you. Thank you. All right, moving on to fire department. Mr. Chairman, committee, I don't have anything to add in my report unless you have questions. Where are we at on the status of, I know you're on some of the equipment, big purchase equipment that you had kind of had some plans for and. Um, Out of the last year's grant, we uh, we went ahead and purchased the SCBA bottles that the federal government wouldn't purchase. We got another grant to fund that. That was pulled off before June 30. So we got all that equipment. Uh, in this year's budget, there's, there's another pumper to replace another 98 model truck. Uh, we sh I've got the, they've emailed me the two different trucks. Both of them will be available probably by December. If not, if we can't work a deal on dollars on that, then we could be two to three years out. And that depends on what International Freightliner and all of them are doing. They're laying off right now. So yeah, that's, we don't what we're, know. that's what we were talking about this weekend. You know, the, the and, and, you know, I've, that truck that you and I looked at yeah. yesterday, I think it was, I'd love to have it. <laughs> Yeah, out of my price range. <laughs> I think <laughs> everything on that showroom floor was out of price range. Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> All right, any questions for uh, Chief? Are we close to a burn van? Or it's I know it's uh, dry. They have the state has not issued that yet. We have to get that from the Department of Forestry, and they have not done that. Mm. So we have to wait till that comes down. Now, sometimes I will go out there and I'll ask people not to burn in Bedford County. We can do that. But there's no penalty if they do. Have we seen an uptick in grass fires or anything through this stretch? Uh, or? Not until just now. I've got two going on right now. I'm about to say, I just <laughs> got to <laughs> And I think, I think there's structures involved, so I'm on. Oh, goodness. Well, if you need to step out, yeah, feel on, free. I'm cut loose when y'all are done. All righty. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right, E911 report. You have that in your packet. Any questions with that? All righty. Uh, media GIS. See him. I hate you have a copy in your packet. Looks like June was a busy month. All righty. Any questions on that one? I take a motion to approve the reports. Motion to approve. Second. All right. Motion and second. Any questions? All right. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right, no other reports. Uh, under old business, we have the old workhouse property disposition. Uh, what do y'all want to do with that? Uh, it's been deferred a couple times. Is it, in, you know, I haven't been in it in a long time. Is it in working condition? On the I mean, they still it? use it as surplus uh, for the current time. And um, I think it's, um, you know, I think there is some plans for alternative surplus. And um, I think that, We've got to get to that point before we start talking about getting rid of a facility that is being utilized. I think what we should do is send out something to other departments to see if they have any use for them or if they have any future plans for a building that this could possibly serve for rather than potentially building something else and surplusing this when they would do. Okay. So, else? Well, we got the surplus building that's already been approved funding-wise, so mm -hmm. we've got that you when know, it works. Right. Uh, but this could be potentially used for somebody it, else. But it keeps coming up back on our agenda every month, and we're not really in a position to do anything with it until we get that new building built. Yeah. So I don't know what you guys want to do. Defer I mean, until the new building's built? Well, do we want to just take it off the agenda? Yeah, and then, and then just talk to the mayor about talking with his departments and seeing if there is a future need for that built that facility, and then when we get to a point exactly. of having a facility, then we can bring it back up. Exactly. Does that sound okay? I think all right, so do I have a motion to, to remove that from the agenda? I'll nope. make that motion. Second. All right, motion and second. Any questions? All right, all in favor? Aye. 
All righty, motion passes. All right, under also under old business, um, our uh, chairman, Julie Sanders, uh, of course, as we know, uh, she um, vacated the chair of this committee. And um, so with that, um, she did a, a great job, and, and I appreciate her time uh, serving as this chair. I think she did it for almost eight years, uh, I think quite a, bit, quite a long time. Um, and so I appreciate her for her service. Um, but with that, I think it's time to elect a new chair. Um, and so with that, I would like to open up nominations uh, for chair and see who might be interested in that. I nominate uh, Mr. Hooker as chair. Um, do you want to do it one at a time or do a vice chair also? Well, I think let's let's see if there's any other nominations okay. for chair, and then that way we can take it all. Just We'll take chair, and then if that happens, okay. then we'll, we'll take vice chair. Any other nominations? I'll just move that cease. Okay. I see that motion. Do I have a second to cease nominations? Second. All right. All in favor? Yeah. Aye. Aye. Okay. Uh, so now we'll be voting on uh, myself as chair. Uh, I will abstain from this vote. Uh, so uh, all in favor of me as chairman? Uh, I'll, I'll do it one at a time. Adam? Aye. Troy? Yes. Keith? Yes. Diane? Yes. All righty, that motion passes. Okay, well, with me moving to chair, that opens up the vice chair position. So I would like to take nominations for vice chair. I'll nominate uh, Commissioner Neely unless someone else has an interest and wants to do that position. Second. All right. I'll second. Uh, All right. I have a motion and second for Diane. And then uh, we have any other nominations? All right. Hearing none. All right. We'll vote on uh, Commissioner Neely as vice chair. Um, so all in favor? I'll, uh, Adam? Troy? Yes. Keith? Yes. Uh, I vote yes. I'll abstain. All right. Well, Diane, thank you. Congratulations. All right. I think that's all of our old business, and if anybody else had anything. All right, any new business? All right, hearing none, any announcements? No, sir. 